Welcome to Jurassic Park. Ladies and gentlemen, and whoever's watching this, this is a Mine Custom Jurassic Park. I built this in Sandbox. I have not completed Jurassic Park mission. This is Jurassic World Evolution, I should probably say. Um, now I have a video planned. I had a video already recorded. Um, that was supposed to be my first video, and something happened. It got corrupted, and I sort of just gave up on doing these Jurassic World Evolution videos, and I'm going to give you guys a tour of Jurassic Park, my version of Jurassic Park. So, I'll give you guys a quick run of the layout. We have the arrival helipad, ranger team, storm defense center, and then we have, of course, park tour. It's the first of the three different park tour vehicles. It goes through the main gate. Goes to here, comes right around, back to here. Passes the Herosaurus and part of the, um, Frick. Part of the, um, Herbivore Valley. And we have the second one that starts right here. Comes down here through these Jurassic Park gates. Comes through this one down by the Herbivore Valley. Comes all the way down here by the Deinonychus and the Velociraptors. Comes around, comes down here, back to here. And we have these ones that go around through this gate, over, through this, through a Jurassic Park gate right here. And then they come down past the Dilophosaurus, the Dilophosaurus and they come back down past the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Keeps coming down, keeps coming down, goes through that gate, goes through that gate, and then comes right back around to the tour. So we're actually going to go through some... This video might be a little long. I mean, we have the visitor center right here. I should probably also say there's a visitor center right here. The hotel. Jurassic Cafe. Jurassic Gifts. And then restroom. This is going to be a little long since I'm going to run you through all of the different tours. Um, but it's, you know, it's whatever. Let's go to park tour. And uh, we have a new tour right? We have a new tour that just left. But I sort of want to wait on another... Alright, so we're going to be... And we're going to arrive on these, this tour right here. Alright, so... I think we're going to go to the second vehicle. And we're going to ride in the back seat. Next to her. So, I just wanted to say, welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> um, yeah, I love every any time that I'm on this vehicle and I'm going through the Jurassic Park gates. It's just so satisfying to see that. So, if you look to your left, you just might see the lovely Herosaurus. The dinosaur was in, was in fact... Uh, one of the um, first fossil or, or re remains of a dinosaur ever found. And you'll get a close up of these dinosaurs. Uh, we have another, we have some signs over here that tell you what are in our Herbivore Valley the Gallimimus, Triceratops, Parasaurolophus, and Brachiosaurus, which aren't really accurate since all these three, all four of these dinosaurs were in the Herbivore Pen. You come through this gate. Welcome to the Herbivore Valley. If you look to your right, you will see the herbivores. Look to your left, you may see the Herosaurus. Wow, this is... And, yep, there she is. Our first dinosaur seen on the park is a Brachiosaurus. Over there. Would you look at that? Oh, that is beauty. And there's, I think there's a Triceratops down there. And the yeah, Herosaurus cage is over here. Is there gonna find the Herosaurus? Freak, where is it? I'm like half blind, so.
we'll be riding through this next gate and if you look to your left you may see the Herosaurus again if you look to your right you may see the Metrocanthiosaurus a larger carnivore compared to the to the Herosaurus but is smaller than a T-Rex which is our largest carnivore on the island There it is, the Herosaurus, right there. Metricanthosaurus, a little weird to see from this vision. Uh, we're a little bit far away from there, and this is also on the down hill slope, so seeing the Metricanthosaurus is a little bit more challenging. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm literally just going through all these tour rides. Once we get, like, I think I'm just gonna, like, end the tour ride after this, and I'm just gonna. Alright, so yeah, basically all it's going to do is it's just going to take you down here, right past the visitor center, and it's going to go through here, back into the tour tour area. And we have this park tour right here, which uh, I'm going to give it a second, and this new set of cars are returning, which means we're going to leave with this new set of vehicles to go through a full-on second tour now if you look to your right, left wait I gotta make sure which dinosaur cage is this oh this is the Perceratosaurus that's right that was the one I was forgetting about Sorry, sorry about that. Look to your uh, left, you may see the Proceratosaurus, the oldest fossil remains of a Proceratosaurus is actually the oldest fossil remains of the Tyrannosaurus family. Uh oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I am very sorry about this. Oh my gosh, just go. Nope, oh, right here. No. No, I guess these ones right here. We're cutting through a second set of the Jurassic Park gates where we're going to be passing the, again, Proceratosaurus cage and the Metrocanthiosaurus. And we'll be getting a good look at newer dinosaurs down the road. Such as, you know, the Gallimimus, the Paracervalophus. There she is, the Metricanthosaurus. Where is that Perceratosaurus? Oh, oh, there it is. Just realized that's it right there. Huh. It reminds me of a Monolophosaurus, actually. Alright, so we're going to be entering this cage and we're gonna be seeing some more dinosaurs such as the Brachiosaurus way over there or a herd of dinosaurs over here. Don't know why I said it like that. I don't know why I went like dinosaurs. So those are um Parasaurolophus, you know, Brachiosaurus, sleeping triceratops, Gallimimus, you know cool stuff. You know, Enjoying your time? I sure hope you are. Right, we're gonna switch to the front vehicle. Most of these vehicles would like go a little bit faster though. So we're once we get out of the herbivore valley, and this is a very interesting valley, uh, we'll be coming close to the um, 
our next enclosure. I'm not sure if this video is really going to be as long as I thought it was, now I'm thinking. This video might be a lot shorter than what I thought it was going to be. But hey. I don't know. My brain just does stupid stuff like that sometimes. Alright, we should be... We should be... Close. I don't think they said selfie back in 1993, but it's whatever. Um, but we should be once through, once we get through these gates, we will be getting close to seeing a Deinonychus or the lovely Velociraptor. Hopefully. Alright, approaching the gate to exit the herbivore pen, the herbivore valley. The goats can't fear being hunted. It's sick, actually. If you look to your left, you might see some Deinonychus. I think I already see one. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure. Well, I see, see, oh no, they're there, never mind. They're right by the gate. And if you look to your left again, you'll come across the lovely Velociraptor, which is a very interesting dinosaur. They're far away. I probably should have moved the pond up close to the fence, but hey. I do like the Velociraptor pen. It looks sick, though. And I think it's actually the only building in the game, the only building in the game that actually doesn't require a path. Just good. Um, this is basically it for the tour, so I'm just gonna hop out now. And then we're gonna go over here to the secondary tour. And these cars will be arriving back, and we will ride on this car tour right here. Not exactly what I had in mind, but hey, it's whatever. What the flippity flip? Alright, right here. Ride park. Alright, there we go. Alright, got some new people with us. We're now exiting this gate to get to that gate. Just take a little U turn. And uh, we're going to see some more dinosaurs. Welcome to Jurassic Park. That's just the first thing I think of whenever I see these gates open. Look at it. Dilophosaurus might be hard to see. You might see the outline of a dilo, but I can't promise you're actually going to see a dilo in all its beauty. A lot of jungles. Hard to see. But I'm trying to see dilos. I hear them. I definitely heard that Dilophosaurus. I am looking very close to see a Dilophosaurus. Oh, oh, right there. Oh, two of them. There's one back there, too. Wow. I think there's like two or three. I'm not too sure. That might be only two. I'm not sure. Cool. Wow. We're about to run into the Tyrannosaurus Rex paddock. I hope you all enjoy this one. This one's. Definitely one of my coolest paddocks I have in the game. Now, uh, hopefully she'll be around the feeding area. It's basically the only time you can see her from the vehicles. I really hope the T-Rex gets the T-Rex when we get up here. Oh 
bitch is there? Oh, look at her and all her beauty. The large and ferocious Tyrannosaurus Rex. How the fuck she just like gave us a roar or something? She's eating. It's awesome. Alright, so that's about it for the tour. Alright, for those tour rides, I'm gonna give everyone a closer look at the dinosaurs. So here's the T-Rex. And yes, it is the Jurassic Park, so she does have the, um, the old Jurassic Park 1993 pattern. Right, same thing with the, the Dilos, which over here, we'll take a look at the Alpha Dilo. Which I think looks freaking dope. I love the Dilos in this game, I think they're amazing. Or the Dillos, whatever you want to call them. I call them Dillos most of the time, but I get them confused. I sometimes say both. I've seen the raptors in this one look more ferocious in the Jurassic Park coloration than they do in the Jurassic World design. I don't know why. I think it's the mouth and the way the mouth shaped and the teeth and the eyes. This look almost crazy almost. And then we'll get a close look at the Deinonychus. Nothing special, just weird looking raptors, basically. And then here are the Brachiosaurus, which are beautiful. Again, the 1993 pattern. Uh, the Parasaurolophus only have the 19. I believe it, yeah. Does it say on here? Down here. Oh yeah, it's 1997 pattern. And the Gallimimus, I believe, had the uh, have basic pattern. Hmm, interesting. And then yeah, the trikes have the 1993. And then we'll get a closer look at the Proceratosaurus, which is right here. What are looks like the Monophosaurus. And it's amazing, I mean, it's like red, it's like blood red coloration, so it looks dope. Uh, and then here's the, uh, Metrocanthiosaurus, again, a larger predator, but not as big as the T-Rex. Still very ferocious. And then here's the Herosaurus. I was, I, I don't know what it is, but there's something about the Herosaurus is like noises, like the hissing. I just find that scarier than all the other dinosaurs. And also, a cool little thing I added right by the T Rex paddock. If you. There's the feeding area. The feeding area is down here. If you stick in here, look at here. The restroom. The restroom that the one and only T Rex, Rexy, crashed through, knocked over Malcolm, and ate Gennaro on, if you guys remember that from the film. So yeah, this is this is Jurassic Park. I mean, it's it's not a whole lot of something, but it, it's something. I just wanted to you know, share it because I was sort of bored right now, and I was like, it's been a while since I posted a video, so let me just get a video recorded. And I'll post it properly or whatever. But um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, and I will probably do more Jurassic World evolution videos. I don't know, I've been going through. I mean, this whole COVID stuff and everything has really been slacking. I feel like starting a YouTube channel, COVID was the worst idea ever. I should have started before COVID. But, you can't go back on that now, can you? Nope. Mm -mm. So, yeah, uh, good to know. Uh, we might be, and I might do some more Minecraft videos and streams by any chance with Noah. We've made a lot of progress. Noah and Sainty. Okay, so, bye, talk to y'all later, and, uh, well, bye.